What's good, everybody? What's good? Man, look here. I got some news, but it's different kind of news. I'm done with the fury news. I'm just waiting to see the fight now. But, you know, got to talk about this guy. You know, still like him. I saw him last week. I believe it was last weekend or weekend before last. Um, Anthony Sims Jr. Well, you can forget about seeing that fight with him and Anthony Yard because Anthony Sims Jr. is now a super middleweight. I believe is 168 pounds. He's in there with the likes of the Callum Smiths and the Chris Eubanks Jr. Ha <laughs> ha. That's fight I love to see. But as a starter fight, honestly, I think he needs to fight a Peter Quillen or Andre Durrell, you know, or Anthony Durrell, no matter which one. Fight one of them, you know, because he's not in the rankings as of yet, at least the world rankings he's not in. And, um, you know, he can pull himself up a little bit there without going through all the 50s and the 40s and the 30s. He can jump up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Or jump up. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how they do that, but I, I, in my eyes, from how I see it, I got to do more research on that. But what I'm thinking is if you beat the number 20 or the number 28 or whoever it is, I believe you take that ranking. I believe so. I'm not sure. Somebody correct me, please, if I'm wrong. And um, I think um, one of those guys I mentioned, especially Peter Quillen, I'll, I'll go ahead and put him in there with Peter Quillen, you know, right away instead of because the fight that he had that was on the zone, um, it was a he was testing himself out to see what his power was like. Now he could have got the guy out there the first round, but the guy was awkward and wild, you know. Um, I forgot his name, Callum something, but anyway, um. You know, he got him out in the second round, and really, you, you know, his opponent wanted to quit after the first round. From my understanding, the guy's a welder, <laughs> you know, so it was no competition. That's why I say he needs to go in there. His next fight needs to be with somebody who, who you know, had a had a name at one time, or it was a buzz at one time, like a Peter Quillen or Andre Durrell or Anthony Durrell, either one, you know, and, and he needs to dispatch of them. Then he needs to move up. You know, and and possibly um, fight the um, the the true axes or you know the the riders, you know the Benavides. You know what I'm saying? And, you know from that point on, but work your way up. To be honest with you, people like Chris Eubanks Jr. I think that he'll he'll just. He'll just dance on him, you know what I mean? I have to I haven't really seen the um the Callum Smiths yet, you know, and George Groves. I'm gonna watch those guys. Matter of fact, I already know about Jose Uzkadagi. And, and you know, let, let me see how I believe he'll tell you the truth. I haven't seen his his chin tested. You know, his record is seventeen and zero now, and that's Anthony Sims Jr. I'm talking about. His record is seventeen and zero now, and they're basically against people I've never heard of. So that's why I said he needs to jump in there with a Peter Quillen or Andre Durrell, or do it, do it one, two, and three, or do we'll both do a Peter Quillen and do an Anthony Durrell, who is who is rated who's ranked higher than Andre Durrell, and then move your way up to everybody else. You know. And give yourself a record, you know. It, it, you wanted to, it, they they wanted to test him in that weight class, but you got to test him against somebody. Anyway, I'm looking forward to seeing who he's gonna tackle on next. And I'm talking about Anthony Sims Jr. Looking forward to who he's gonna tackle on next. Old man boxing signing out. Peace.